In this video, we're going to talk about how you can make associations between items using the bundles module. Now, the bundles module allows you to re relate items to one another and check them out all at once, or you also have the flexibility of still checking those items out individually. To access the module, we go to more and then click on the bundles option over here. Once we click on the option, we're taken to the bundles listing page on which you can see you can take a number of actions from. For example, you can export all of this data into a CSV file. If you need to edit the columns over here, you just need to click on the pen icon. In the mass actions button, you will have the option of either printing labels against these items or adding bundles in mass into a cart. You can also filter between the bundles. For example, you might want to see bundles that are available during a certain, during certain dates or bundles that are present at a specific location. So first we're going to talk about how to add bundles inside the system. For this, for now, inside the system, you need to go ahead and add bundles individually. When you're adding a bundle, you can specify a name, give the bundle number and identification number. So bundles can also have barcodes assigned to them, which you can then make into labels through the printout templates module. You can then assign a location to the bundle from which the items need to be picked up from, and then give it a description. Bundles too have custom fields made against them. So if you need to make any, if you need to track any kinds of additional details, you can always go ahead and make custom fields against these bundles. Now there are a number of ways to add items inside the bundle. For that, we're going to look at add bundle line over here. So if you need to add asset, asset stock or inventory as individual items, you can always go ahead and just select the type of item that you need to add and search for the name, number or identification number for that item but you might be in a situation where you need to add multiple items that have something common amongst them. So for that, you can go ahead and click on advanced assets. You can then specify what quantity you want to add and what is the common property amongst all of these bundles. For example, you might want to add, go ahead and add items having the same product model number. Now, this concept is not only restricted to assets, but it also is applied to asset stock and inventory over here. And lastly, if you need to add bundles within bundles, you can also just go ahead and select the type of item as bundle and then specify the bundle's name. If you've been following our videos, you will notice that the system is capable of performing a parent-child relationship amongst different modules. So the bundles are made with the same thought process. So once you've added the bundles, all you need to do is go back and look at the camera. Let's look at the camera bundle as an example. So inside the camera bundle, you will notice that the bundle has a location assigned to it. We've given it a barcode number or, or an identification number over here. We know when it was created and what is the description over here. You can attach any kinds of files and comments that you need to add with the bundle. And then finally, in the bundled items, we can basically see what kind of items are listed over here. In this bundle, we have a bullet camera, two wide lenses that are of asset stock type, and finally a tripod stand. Now let's talk about how you can go ahead and assign a bundle. So to assign a bundle, you must activate the carts module. And after that, all you need to do is go to the listings page to either add multiple bundles to the cart, or if you need to add a single bundle, you can just go ahead and click on the add to cart button over here. Once you add bundles to the cart, you will notice that you have the option of toggling between a bundled view or an item view. If I toggle to item view over here, all of the items listed within the bundle will be listed or shown as separate items over here. When I toggle to bundle view, we get a compressed view and I still have the option of looking at all of the contents of the bundle by clicking on each and every item type. 